so much black slime. Oh, it just seems like a lot because it's a lie. Going upwards. If you see a big yellow eye in there, poke it with something. No yellow eye, Ray. Maybe it already went up there. Well, that doesn't sound good. Is it my turn to lead? I don't want to jump in front. Hello, Chairman. Ready to get what's up here? <laughs> Somewhere. Over here. 
You fraudulent gangsters forever when I had the chance. You know what? I'm going to put an end to this madness now. Right now. I'm shutting down your contain any chance for more government. And you're going to pay. You're welcome, you peck. All right, that's it. That's it. You're done, smart guys. You are done, smart, cool guys. I have the authority, and I'm shutting you and your phony containment grid down now. Because of your shenanigans, the whole city. What? But that shuts you down, too. Well, so be it. I have bigger fish to fry. And get him off me! I think we need to keep an eye on him. You think? No, I mean, we really need to keep an eye on him. You're real heroes. Kinda routine. As usual, I led the charge. <laughs> We're fired heroes. Peck's gonna pull our license. Well, get real, Ray. It's the holidays. Nobody in this town's gonna be around to pull our license till Monday. We got the whole weekend to stop this calamity and probably half a dozen others, save the city. We got a four-day weekend. We have time left for ourselves. Dr. Vinkman, if they start evacuating Manhattan, I won't be coming in on Monday. Catastrophic exodus of the city does not count as a floating holiday. I know, I looked it up. Now is the season of evil. No heart ever Hello, beat as black as my own. Come closer, mm. and I'll let you hear it. Oh, you don't know the half of it. They have been racing in and out of here since that shockwave hit. How would I know? I'm just here trying to keep the lights on. Sure, I could ask what's going on, but then they might actually tell me. What? Yeah, I'd say it's pretty big. That schnook from the city isn't helping ease the tension either. Anyway, going away for Thanksgiving might be on hold until things settle down. Yeah, I know. But we have to roll the Ghostbusters way. What does this symbol mean? Uh, guys. Perfect fit. It's not a constellation. It's a mandala. I can't believe I never saw it before. Okay, for one minute, pretend someone here doesn't know what a mandala is. A mandala is like a spiritual labyrinth. And this one looks like a spiraling system that feeds into each successive node along the line until it reaches a culmination point. Before he died, Shandor must have set some mechanism in place similar to the antenna in Dana's building. You know, I think you helped to make that clear. So this was the gizmo that's supposed to feed energy to the destructor form? That's... that's right, Peter! Well, Dr. Venkman, 
Well, I had to get one right eventually, didn't I? I mean, just math. All right, I'm just speculating, but it's possible that ghosts are trapped in the system, funneled from node to node, and they get stronger and stronger until they reach the end, and then they... Look, the first portal, the library, the second, the museum, and the third, the Sedgwick. And that means the fourth portal must be right here. The middle of the Hudson River? Well, according to the Mandala, yes. It may need a little tweaking. I don't know. Plenty of bodies in that river. Could become ghosts. But what does this have to do with me? What did I do? You were at the museum and the Sedgwick. Maybe you were some sort of catalyst, accidentally setting things in motion. You're saying this is my fault? You are blameless! What Egon meant to say was that you have some sort of connection to this thing and we're going to go back to the Sedgwick and find out what. Isn't that right, Brainiac? That's right, Peter. Alyssa, do you remember where you were going when you were at the Sedgwick? I was standing outside a room. 1221. Something was compelling me to go in, but I woke up just before the door opened. I ran out of there as fast as I could. And then some jerk tried to pick me up on the elevator. Okay, you need to stay here where it's safe and where you can't set off any more cross-dimensional shockwaves, hot stuff. Here, read up on the Mandela and the boys will check out the Sedgwick. The boys? And what about you, Superstar? I'm gonna have you drop me off near Peck's office. Something tells me he's not quite what he seems. Good idea. Meet us at the hotel when you're done. Whoa. If this place were any more dead, we need a coroner. Egon used to be a licensed coroner. No kidding. It's... Close until further notice by the Paranormal Contracts Oversight Commission. Peacock. Entrance into this establishment is strictly forbidden and is punishable by fine and imprisonment. What now? Hmm. This notice is for the general public. It doesn't apply to us. We're bonded contractors for the city. Especially the Ghostbusters. All right, heat them up. We'll melt our way in. Wait, I have a better idea. Good thinking. This is disappointing. No. Disappointing is the Jets losing in the last two minutes. Not being covered in slime by phantom ghouls out to kill us doesn't exactly make me reach for a hank. Why they shut down? You guys didn't bang the place up that bad last time you were here. If this place is a Mandala note, a few burnt walls and broken ceilings are the last thing that anybody's... And smashed furniture, broken chandeliers, destroyed paintings, shattered vases, probably some minor structural damage. Thanks, Egon. My point being that there's more to worry about here than some minor cosmetic issues. Definitely a Mandala node. If we don't shut down Shandor's Mandala soon, most of Manhattan will become as vacant as this. Not to mention also becoming a bastion of absolute mind-numbing horror for centuries to come. Hey, I definitely don't lay out two grand a month for a 600-square-foot walk-up to live in a bastion. Let's get to work. 